Okay. Hello. This is Patriot of the Republic, Mike Fulmer, saying hello to everyone on YouTube. <laughs> well, today's subject that I'm going to talk about is the Pennsylvania State License Statutory Law and Ordinances in Federal Acts. Well, in particular, in, pic in particular, we're going to be talking about the uh, Pennsylvania State License and a God-given right to travel. Everyone thinks that here in the state of Pennsylvania, well, everybody, this is what we've been taught since we were little kids and all through our adult life, that driving is a privilege and having a, a PA state driver's permit or driver's license comes along with that privilege and we have to follow the rules and the laws to those privileges. Well, hate to bust everybody's bubble and this is the truth and it's fact. Uh, the Pennsylvania license is statutory or you could even say it's an ordinance and it's very unconstitutional and, I, and I'll go into detail about that we have a God-given right to travel through common law a God-given right to travel uh, to get into a vehicle back in the uh, beginning days of our Constitution Republic the horse and buggy or on a horse or even a bicycle uh, we had a God-given right to travel and along uh, and what comes along with the God-given right to travel is responsibility we shall not infringe on other people's God-given right to travel we shall not uh, damage their vehicles or uh, uh, damage their vehicles we have to be responsible and pay for those uh, damages and and that's all what well, and it what it boils down to lawfully through common law through the state constitution and the US Constitution we have to be responsible and God-loving people if we uh, cause an accident we have to pay out of our own pockets and it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to have insurance we could be bonded and that is a certain type of uh, we could be we could go find a bond through a bonding company and that would act like uh, insurance and we would actually play a pay a little less than we would through the uh, the actual car car auto insurance that we get along with the driver's license here in the state of Pennsylvania when we're born we have a God-given right to travel and like I said that also comes with responsibility we shall not infringe on anyone else's God-given right to travel or damage their property and thereof and if we do damage or infringe or question their uh, God-given right to travel we're violating their rights and we're gonna have to be responsible and we and we have to end up paying a debt for violating someone's God-given right to travel and we have to pay their damages and so on and etc that's what the uh, the bond is it's a certain type of insurance you'll pay actually less if you have a bond to be an insured driver and you have to find that bonding agent or bonding company to take you on for uh, for to be insu to be an insured driver here in the state of Pennsylvania and well basically we have a God-given right 
to travel, that means we don't need a driver's license or a driving permit. And uh, we're allowed to get in our vehicle and move freely to get back and forth to work, to uh, family functions, or uh, a rock and roll concert, and to come back home. And once we uh, sign on to the Pennsylvania license, we're physically sign giving up our God-given right and transferring it to a privilege. Once we sign on to the Pennsylvania, to a Pennsylvania driving permit, then a license, we forfeit it from a God-given right to a privilege, which makes us a subject to the state of Pennsylvania. It, it, and and that's what you grant your subject a privilege and it's the privilege to drive that's that's totally bogus when it comes to common law the state constitution of Pennsylvania and the US constitution we have a god-given right to travel and basically we're when we sign on to the uh, Pennsylvania driver's license, we forfeit our God-given right to travel and transfer it to a uh, privilege. And that makes us a subject to the state of Pennsylvania. And we would have to follow and obey by the rules of the driving permit and the driver's license through ordinances and statute law. The statutes that go along with that driver's license we're agreeing to their law, to government's law, not to the common law, the Constitution, and God's law, basically, which is part of common law. And uh, basically, we're subjects, and we're not actually free. We're not free. Free. We're not a free. We give up a piece of our sovereignty and our freedom when we sign on to the Pennsylvania driver's permit or driver's license or any type of permit or other licenses we're actually given our God-given right up to uh, hunt to feed ourselves to defend ourselves to uh, to acquire to acquire property and so on and etc we're no longer a sovereign indiv we lose a piece of our sovereignty and our liberties and freedoms we're becoming a subject to the state of Pennsylvania and when the people were fighting the English during the Revolutionary War we were actually fighting the king and queen we were their subjects the co the original 13 colonies were actually subjects to the king and queen of England and when you're a subject to statue and, and ordinances and acts, you're basically a subject to the, uh, the local level, the county and state level, and also the federal level of government. And that's totally unconstitutional when we become subjects. We, we're losing pieces of, of, a, of our sovereignty our liberties and freedoms so we're not technically in a certain sense we are not free in certain areas and well that's pretty bad they don't teach the, cons the state constitution and the US constitution in any level of a uh, schooling in, in the public school system on the elementary level, junior high, or the uh, high school, or even the college levels. Well, those are classes of choice, but uh, when it comes to teaching the, the young youth through the elementary, junior high, and high school levels about the Constitution and the state Constitution of Pennsylvania, it never gets taught. But sometimes they do teach it, but they teach it in such small fragments. They just pick a, a certain amendment, a certain God-given right, and then they stop teaching it and they go on to the next subject that they choose to 
the teacher chooses to teach the elementary, the junior high, or high school students. We have to get back to basics. The beginning basics of the Constitution, it is not old and out of date. That is the common law of the land. It's the way it should be. And it's not the way it should be. We are going under statutory ordinances and on the federal level, acts. Well, statute is local or statutes and ordinances are on the local, county, and state level. An act is on a federal level. And if they do not comply through common law, which is the Constitution of the state constitution of Pennsylvania and the US Constitution, it's considered non it's considered void altogether because it doesn't comply to the Constitution or the state constitution of Pennsylvania. And uh, well I and there's other things I would like to add about schooling in the beginning days of our Constitution Republic and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, there were, there were very it was a very rare thing where you see uh, there wasn't very it was a rare thing to see public schools. It was a small thing. It was rare to see a public school or a private school. People were homeschooled by the mom and dad, and and if they have a good amount of children. The, the the outer children, the oldest or the second oldest, would teach the younger children. They would actually teach them. And you know how they taught them to read and to use common sense. And they used, they read out of the, the Christian Bible. And, and we the people, the people of this country and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, learn from the Christian Bible. That gave a greater sense to uh, to Christianity. We were God-loving people. We said our prayers. We we believed in the Ten Commandments and the shall nots or the what nots of the uh, Christian Bible. And there was very little uh, public schools or private schools when they started to make public schools more profound through law and and the public schools started to dominate and the private schools started to dominate you're basically taking your your kids you're letting your kids be taught by strangers not by your mom and dad where it, it will strengthen the family and also reading out of the bible and being good christians here in the united states the constitution republic United States and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. I think the uh, the public schools and the private schools the mer the uh, by making by allowing them to get bigger it took us away from family values, wholesome family family values, and family, which will bring which will bring good sense of family and it will be the the main guidings, the main stones of uh, for a good sense of community here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Constitution Republic United States. Well, I hope I explained everything well. If you want to uh, read up on the driver's license, which is a, a statue and an ordinance through local up to county and state laws here in the Pennsylvania. Once we sign into the driver's license, we give up and forfeit our God-given right to travel and transfer, trans, and transform it or transfer it to a privilege. Now we are subjects to the state of Pennsylvania. We are. We've lost a little bit of our freedoms and liberties in the sense of the right to travel. And that would be my main topic of today. And 
and we have to agree to whatever statutes or ordinances throughout the local community, the county, all the way up to the state level. Well, uh, it's the uh, these statutes that and ordinances that are attached to the uh, driver's license. It's totally unconstitutional to the state constitution of Pennsylvania and the U.S. Constitution. We, in certain senses, we, we're losing a little bit of our sovereignty and freedom and liberties that go along with a free life to make free and responsible decisions. Well, this is Patriot of the Republic saying so long and goodbye for now. And hasta la vista. And God bless everybody. Goodbye. And... There will be links to my web page, my and both my YouTube pages, my Facebook and my space down below in the definitions box. Goodbye for now and God bless once more. Take care everyone.